Minecraft mobs are kind of boring. So today, we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna be making every Minecraft mob better. First up on the list, we're gonna start with a rabbit. We're gonna make everything this black color, and then we'll start working on our head. We'll squish down the face, we'll add on an extended block, and then we'll throw in the mouth. We can't forget the nose. Now let's work on our ears. I'm gonna shrink this side down, we'll add on this bent piece, and then we'll do the same to the other side. We'll give the body an extra layer, and then we'll add in this slanted piece for definition. We'll give the front foot an actual toe, and then we'll do the same with the other side. We'll keep our back legs the same. Now let's texture this up. I think these are pretty decent ears. I think those eyes are pretty decent. Now let's add, add a little bit of noise. And with a little bit of noise, this isn't too bad. Now I think the rabbit is super cute. I don't really know anyone that doesn't like rabbits. And if you do, you're just wrong. Oh my goodness. Dude, you can't look at this thing and tell me it's not adorable. Now I'll be honest, I like to over texture things. And by texture, I mean just add noise. But sometimes it works out and I think this situation, it worked out really nice. Let's see what a little baby rabbit looks like. Oh, that is so cute. Dude, this thing is adorable. I like these rabbits because they're really simple, but it does give it a little bit better of a touch. Oh my God, the wolf is killing them. What in the world is this? Stop. You guys didn't see me hit a wolf. Next up, let's work on Fatty Magoo. And by that, I just mean a pig. We'll start off with our head like normal. Let's give it a couple little eyes on the side. Now we can start throwing on some ears. Let's give them a bit of definition with this piece. And then we'll just duplicate that to the other side. We're basically just gonna extend the nose out. And I think that's looking pretty good. And we're basically gonna keep the same body. Now we'll start building out a tail. We'll add on some connecting pieces. We'll throw in our final touch. And that tail turned out really good. We're gonna make the legs a little bit more bulky, but we'll basically keep the same legs. Let's throw in some slight texturing. I think that turned out pretty good. Let's load them up. Pigs are honestly a really cute mob. RIP Technoblade. And I feel like we did a good job at making these look a little bit better. Oh, you're so... What is going on? No, they're gonna kill the rabbit. Oh my God. Why are there so many wolves? But back to the pig, you're pretty cute. I think adding a little bit of bulk on the legs made it look a lot better. We did a good job with the tail. I really like how that turned out. I feel like maybe I could have made the eyes go around the head more because it is a tad bit awkward, but they're still pretty cute. Let's spawn in a little baby pig. That's even cuter. It has such a big head. Look at the way it runs it's just so fast. This is literally just a cuteness overload. And speaking of cute, that rabbit's about to die. I feel like we can't do the pig without doing the cow. So let's go ahead and do this beast stick. We'll start off with our head like normal. Let's get rid of these antlers. Then let's squish this down. We'll angle it up a little bit. Then we'll add these cute eyes to the side. We'll throw these two pieces back on. Then we'll build on this extended mouth. I think that looks like a pretty good mouth. We'll throw on this ear bit. And we'll color the inside pink. We'll give it a little bit of angling. We'll do the same thing to the other side. Now we'll add on this tail. And then we'll cut out some bottom piece holes. I think something like that looks pretty good. We'll basically give it the same leg style as the pig. Let's add a little bit of noise to this. And after adding a little bit of noise, I feel like it honestly looks super good. Now, to be honest, I have no opinion on cows. To me, they're just another mob. But now, they're gonna be spectacular. You know, that's not too bad. This actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I really like that we gave the ears a bit of definition, like the pig. I mean, both of these together, they're, they're kind of cute. Okay, we gotta spawn in a... Oh my god, that is so adorable. Now, the ears are kind of goofy on this. They're just huge. But it's still so cute. I don't really know what I would change with the cow. I think we did a pretty solid job. Dude, these baby cows are so cute. Off with their heads. Now, I haven't done a hostile mob yet. So, let's go ahead and do a spider. Let's work on our same face. We're gonna make it a bit wider. And then we're gonna start adding on these fangs. We'll give them a nice white spike. And then we'll do the same thing with the other side. We'll make our neck bigger just to match the head. And I think it looks good extended like this. And for the body, we're just gonna rotate it kind of how I did my other spider. Now we get to work on the legs. We're gonna give them this weird, creepy bend. And we're basically gonna do that with all the legs. Now we'll add on some nasty 3D bits. <laughs> this thing turned out absolutely insane. This is that point in the video where I have to ask you guys to subscribe. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, we are so close to hitting 100,000. So if you want to be part of the first OGs in this channel, go ahead and subscribe now. Make sure to drop a like if you're enjoying the video. Let me know what mob is your favorite so far, and I'll catch y'all back in the video. Thank you for watching. Spiders, spiders, spiders. They're one of the worst mobs in Minecraft. They're gross, they can climb, they're gross, and they're even more gross. But today, we make that a lot worse. This spider will single-handedly break the game. Speaking of break the game, I completely screwed up the texture. This, this is just so wrong. 
Now, I kind of messed up those little 3D bits a tad bit, but I know what I did wrong, so I'll fix that in the pack. But this is just disgusting. I feel like this is something I would see like haunt my dreams. Oh God. This is so much worse than any spider model I have made before. I don't know why I gave it such a big... <laughs> it has such a big dump truck. What in the world? This is gonna haunt everyone's dreams. I am so sorry. I am so confident I can kill all of these spiders. Okay, all I have is an ax. I don't have a shield, but I'm sure I can win this. I need to get the rest of the spiders attention. Okay. Oh, this is so free. This is so free. Oh my God, this is gonna be my first time winning. What in the world? Oh, whoa, whoa, relax. Oh, the last two. Aw. Ah, y'all a bunch of losers. Let's move on to something a little more cute. A parrot is the perfect call. Let's start off with the head. We're gonna keep the feather pretty much the same. We're gonna make the beak a little bit more extended. Just something simple like this. We're gonna give our body two layers. Now we're gonna leave our original wing, but we're gonna add a few extra touches. Now we'll duplicate out this wing and then we'll just slide it to the bottom. We'll do the same to the other side. We're actually gonna give the parrot a solid leg and then we'll just color in a couple toes. We'll do the same to the other side. We'll keep the original tail, but we'll also add on this yellow layer. And honestly, I feel like the parrot looks pretty good. This thing is gonna be adorable. Now, in my opinion, parrots are up there competing for the cutest mob along with like wolves. They are just so freaking adorable. Not as cute as little Rainy though. Oh, whoa. Now I do have a little bit of Z fighting, which I can fix later, but for now, this thing is so cute. This is so simple, but so much better than the original parrot. It just gives us a better vibe. Like this thing is just so adorable. Now I would put it on my shoulder, but I don't really know how to do that. So for now, we can just admire them. But like I said, I'll fix the Z fighting the pack. It's not that big of a deal. But out of all of them, I feel like this is something they definitely could add into the game. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Now let's do something you really don't see too much. Let's go ahead and make this Endermite better. We're gonna start by changing the eye location. Like something like this looks pretty nice. Let's give it similar fangs like the spider head. I feel like that looks pretty good. We'll add on these weird legs. And for keeping it pretty simple, I think this turned out pretty well. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I made this in like five minutes because my cat keeps jumping on my desk. So I don't really know what I'm expecting. Oh my goodness, this thing is terrifying. Now, I don't know why there's an extra leg running around. I also don't know why it's just spinning in circles. It's kind of broken. <laughs> what the heck? But like, if I actually added an animation to this and made it so it walks creepily, this would be so gross. It's already really gross, but this could be a million times worse. Honestly, we could just probably paint the whole entire thing in. I don't think it's that big of a deal. And now we have the underlining of our ghost. Let's go ahead and give him some creepy eyes. I think that's a pretty good face. I do want to go ahead and destroy a bunch of the body, just make it actually look like a floating ghost. So we're going to raise a ton of this. I think so far this is looking super good. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit of texture. I'm just going to go with a lighter variant of the gray, take off the mirroring, and we should be able just to throw some little gray spots on it. I think we did a super good job. This is actually a really cool ghost. Let's go ahead and get this creeper loaded up into the game and see what our first design looks like. Okay, this looks like a good spot to spawn a creeper in. I just uh, want to get them down close to the ground. Okay, we have our creeper egg. I'm excited for this. I have the baby on my shoulder. We're already in the horror theme. I think this is gonna look great. Let's see. And ah, yes, it's unpeaceful. I probably should change that. Now we get to see what Yo, this is so sick. This is like really basic, but it looks so cool. These look so cool, dude. They're so like, this gives a creepier vibe to your creeper. A creepier vibe to a creeper, yeah. I think this looks absolutely amazing. I'm proud of this. If you don't like this, you're just a hater. And shut up, go away. Next on the list, we are gonna go with one of the best mobs in Minecraft and possibly the most annoying, a skeleton. My goal is to make this thing as ugly as possible. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is give it this weird yellow tint. If my viewers aren't seeing nightmares in their dreams because of this, I did not do it right. Okay, this is looking like a pretty good start to the horror. I wanna throw in some like weird brownish eyes to it with like a little blue tint. Before I do that, I'm gonna throw it in Photoshop and get it textured up a little bit more. This this might be one of the most terrifying things i've ever seen now we did erase a bunch of the side of his leg i think it gives a little more of a bony creepish look now i'm thinking we're gonna give him like a creepy bloody red mouth thinking like a smirk like that on the side looks really creepy and good i do want to make sure we really nail the eyes i feel like that's one of the most important parts to bring in this forward to life that looks pretty decent to me let's go ahead and work on the mouth a little bit more i really want to give it like a creepy chopped up feeling we're also going to make the eyes a little bit more narrow just so it looks a little more violent and i think the skeleton looks pretty good i probably could have done a little bit better with the face 
The texturing really nails it together, though. Honestly, I feel like this is either going to be one of my best creations or one of the worst. Let's go ahead and see what we got with the skeleton. I am so hyped for this. This. This is horrifying. Dude, if I saw one of these things running at me, I swear to God, I would probably cry. I think it has the perfect, like, bone texture. It's really skinny, a lot more choppy. I could have done a... I mean, I really could have done a tad bit better with the mouth. It's a little little awkward but i still think it gets a good point across if i'm just out here marching in a cave i've come around a corner and i see these things yeah i am running for my life i'll give this one a solid a solid eight out of ten next on the list we are gonna go with a spider i feel like spiders have one of the best setups to look horrifying i why why are you flying why are your legs whatever it doesn't matter i think this thing is gonna look great I do just want to start off with a body. I think a nice purple-ish color would look perfect for this. I almost want the spider to look more like a hermit crab. If you've ever seen those things in real life, those things are horrifying. Let's also go ahead and start deleting parts of the leg. It needs to look really broken. I want to remove this bottom layer entirely. I don't think it's necessary to make it look as horrifying as I think it should look. This is a pretty good base to this. Now the head's going to be another case. I'm going to go ahead and just remove all the legs and we're going to paint it in the same exact color that the legs are. Now most of the face is actually going to be erased i want it to look like it has those razor sharp teeth coming out of it this is a lot more terrifying than i thought it was gonna be let's go ahead and throw this in the photoshop get it textured up and we'll be right back hey i think this is perfect it's horrifying but it works okay we have our spider egg oh there's a spider yo this what are these red marks on the front what even is this wait this actually looks this looks so good. That's horrifying. I would never want to see one, but that looks mad good. I want to see one climb up a tree. Oh, I'm killing it. You don't want to climb? No climbing? Does anyone want to climb? No? You're just gonna you just all gonna sip the oh okay, well that works. Oh that one that one that one killed itself. Besides the little red mouth, I think this might be the best. Uh, I don't know, you look pretty good. You look you look like something I would see in my nightmare, but you also look very good. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think. If you couldn't guess what mob we're doing last, I don't know what's wrong with you. Obviously, we cannot pass up on the best mob for horror things, an Enderman. I do have high hopes for this. I think it's gonna turn out great. I guess we'll see. My first initial thought is to kind of almost make it like a skeleton, have really creepy, chunky bones. But to start all that off, we have to paint the whole entire Enderman white. Perfect, this is a really good start. We are gonna just start deleting a bunch of the body because it does have to look like a skeleton. This thing is absolutely terrifying. It does feel a little off because it does need to be textured. So we're gonna go ahead and texture this one right up. I think this one's my favorite. I think this is by far the best one I've ever made. I'm debating if I want to do more with the eyes, but honestly, I think it's fine. I am so ready to see how this one's going to look. I am extremely excited. Let's go ahead and put him down and see what our Enderman looks like. That's horrifying. This thing is horrifying. I forgot his eyes are going to pee purple. That makes it look even better. This thing is so scary. What? Bro, they just need to let me redesign the mobs at this point. This, this might be, this one takes the cake. I think it's better than the skeleton. I think it's better than the spider. It's simple. It's scary. I'm completely in love with it. Now let's work on one of our legs. We'll start by extending the leg up a little bit. We'll add on one of our side claws and then we'll throw in our main part of the leg. Now let's copy this leg to the whole body. This thing is absolutely amazing right now. Now we have to add on some chelicere. And if you know what that means, it's basically just the fangs. I think if we give it a little box like this, we'll give it a bottom fang, and then we'll just duplicate it over. And frankly, this looks pretty good. I am so hyped to see what type of spider we made. But let's see how our actual spider turned out. Oh my God, you're thick. This looks really good. I think the fangs were a good touch. The legs are really creepy. That's, yeah, they are definitely creepy. Can you walk? Can you move? Why won't you move? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's perfect. That is a perfect spider. These things are freaking creepy. Oh my God, those things are horrifying. If I ran into a pack of these things, I would be terrified. Bite to me. Oh God, there's too many. 
Oh, I can actually kill these. I'm better. I can kill these. I can kill these. Oh no, I'm trapped in the corner. Stop. Leave me alone. Please. I only have like two left. Please, please. No, no. Oh, the spider still got me. Next up on the list, we're going to work with a stray. Let's start by moving this face piece over. We'll smack on this forehead. We'll build up the lower jaw. We'll throw the main face piece on. We'll throw on this lower part of the mouth. And then we'll add on these teeth. And I feel like that's a pretty good looking head. Let's get rid of this disgusting body. We're going to build on this rib cage. We'll build on the lower part of the body. And then we can't forget to build on this quiver. That stray's looking really good. Let's rotate our leg a little bit. And then we'll add on the lower section. We'll duplicate it over. Now let's work on the arms a little bit. We're going to give the arms the same style bend. And I think our stray looks really good. Now for this one, I had to come to a snow biome. Let's go ahead and throw it down. We'll put it in the tree because why not? Yeah, why is it glitchy? Oh, he's on fire. It's nighttime and you're on fire. I'm not an expert, but it looks like I mess up the face a little bit. There we go. This is a lot better. It all looks really good. I don't know what happened to the quiver, but you look really good. The walking animation seems to be working pretty fine. So I think we did a good job with that. See, why can't the mobs just be like this? This is just simple, but better. Like if they all look like this, I mean, you can even do the same exact thing for the skeleton. It just, it just makes it look better. Maybe I'll do the same thing for the skeleton. Hold up. Well, that's not really what I wanted to do. It looks cool. I don't know why it's all screwed up, but it looks really good. It walks perfectly fine. It has the movement I want. It just is, I don't know. I tried. That's all I can say, I tried. Next, we're gonna go with everyone's favorite mob, the creeper. Now for the creeper, I have a pretty simple design. I want a bent back. I want more poppy legs and I want the face to have like a weird twisted look to it. First step, let's rotate the body a little bit and then we'll add on this lower body piece. Now for the leg, we're gonna bring up this bottom piece and then I'm gonna add this bottom layer as a connector and we're gonna duplicate this all around. And I think this already looks pretty good. I wanna make this face more 3D. So I'm gonna take the front part of this face and duplicate it out a little bit more. I'm thinking something like this looks pretty snazzy. And this is pretty good for our creeper. Let's get him loaded up. Now, I'm sure everyone that's played Minecraft has the same experience with creepers, and we all have some form of strong hate towards them. But today, that changes. Let's put down our creeper. Why do you walk like an old man? Oh, God. Oh, I messed up the face. Oh, God, it's broken. You know, the feet walk how I wanted it to. It walks like a disgusting creature. But the back, the back looks so weird. It just looks deformed and like... The creeper took a freaking knee to the back. The back is messed up, I can't lie. But other than that, I think a four-legged creeper with these like extra little bumps looks pretty good. I think the back does add touch to it, but it could definitely be better. Look, look how they walk towards me, oh God. Oh, uh, that is weird. I don't know, this thing is weird. Next up on the list is this lovely zombie. Let's make this thing as disgusting as we can. Let's rotate the arm a little bit. And I'm gonna bring this back section out. Let's give it a couple weird plates. And then we'll add on this broken bottom layer. We'll do the same thing for the right arm. And then we'll break up the leg in four parts. That looks pretty bad to me. We'll do the same thing for our right leg. And then we'll break apart the body. And that looks pretty good. We'll give the zombie this gross mouth. We'll give it some weird face plates. And I think this zombie looks pretty good. Now, I love zombies. I like the baby zombies. They're super cool. They're super fast. They're super energetic. And now we get to see them as this horrible, beautiful, amazing creature. That, that's not what I wanted to see. Let's throw it on a zombie. Oh yeah, that's what we like to see. Go ahead and walk. Go ahead and walk around for me, zombie. Oh, that's perfect. That's what we wanted. You know what we got to see now? We have to see a little baby zombie. <gasps> Yo! Oh, this is perfect. Oh, these things are perfect. Oh my God. Wait, I have the perfect idea. We're gonna spawn all of these in a little tiny hole. And now we're gonna see how long I can actually, oh God. Oh God, they're after me. Dude, look at these things. They're freaking crazy. Like they, they really can't catch me unless I like allow them to. Hello, creeper, you look pretty good. Honestly, I don't even mind going out like this. This is just cool. Last on the list, we are gonna go with an Enderman. Let's get to work. We're gonna give it the same bendy shape, throw on this arm stub, and then we'll add on the bottom piece of the arm. We'll just duplicate that over. Now let's do the same thing to the legs. And I think both of those look really good. Let's redesign this head. We'll throw on these creepy eyes. Now let's work on the mouth. Now I'm gonna make all these beams purple. I think it's something like this looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna texture this part up. 
And I feel like this thing looks freaking sick. It kind of looks like a big old piece of bedrock, but you know, it works. Now, this one took me a ton of time, so I'm really hoping it turns out good. Let's go ahead and throw our Enderman down. What do we got? What? You know what? I thought I fixed it, but I don't know. It still looks freaking terrifying. You can't tell me that thing isn't scary. Maybe it has to get mad or something. That's... Oh, God. Oh, that is horrifying. Dude, look at them. Look at their mouth. What the heck? That is so gross. Okay, yeah, these things are freaking creepy. They, they even just walk around like they're creepy. I don't... Ew. Ew, ew, ew. I do not like these things. And with me not liking them, I have an even better idea. Let's see how long I can fight these things off. Okay. All right. I just start looking at all of them. I just give them all a dirty look. They're not really attacking me yet. I don't... I don't know why they're... Oh, there they go. Okay, they're all mad. Okay, they're getting angry. Oh, God. I have an old army behind... Okay, I did not think this through. I don't have any blocks. I don't... I don't have anything but my freaking axe. Oh, God. Oh, dear God. If you guys don't know, I'm absolutely horrible at PvP. If this is the PvP, this is me versus the bot, and I'm still losing. Please! Oh, golden apple, please! Save me! Oh, God. Oh, God. And the... No! Stop it! Leave me alone! Stop it! Stop! Okay. Let's start off with the head. We'll start off with this round-shaped head. We'll throw on the front of the face. We'll draw on some eyes. We'll add on his nose. And then we'll throw on some teeth. We'll throw on this jaw plate. We'll add on an ear. And then we'll just duplicate it over. I'm gonna color in the inner part pink. And then I'll make the edges this dark brown. And I think that's a pretty good looking head. We're gonna keep the same brown body. I'm gonna draw on a little lighter color stomach. We'll build out the legs. And then we'll throw on this foot. We'll duplicate it over. We'll start carving out the wings. I think that looks pretty solid. Now let's go ahead and get our bat textured up. And I think for the most part, this looks super good. I freaking love the mob bats. Bats are cool. If you don't like bats, you're just lame. Hopefully this actually turned out... Oh, hey, stop running. Stop. You know what? I'm going to build a little glass case for the bat. Aha! There's our bat. This thing is actually so adorable. What? I know Minecraft is supposed to be simple and all, but like, come on. This bat's just too good. I just want to spawn in a million of these guys and just watch them go crazy. This is my non-moving AI bat. I don't know. I think this one turned out pretty good. Next up, we're going to make this zombie better. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the head. I'm going to color all this in purple. Let's start building on the jaw. We'll throw on some nasty teeth. And then we'll duplicate that to the top. Now we have our purple body. Let's build on some swole arms. We'll make the front piece a little bit lighter. And then we'll throw on these fingers. We'll duplicate it over. We'll keep the legs as blue color. And then I'll draw in a bunch of green. And this thing turned out absolutely disgusting. And with a little bit of texturing, this thing came out really gross. Zombies, zombies, zombies. Those things are one of the most hated creatures in Minecraft. And today, we're making them even more hateable. I honestly hope this one turned out good. I don't really know. What the? Why you want a chicken? What? Why is a zombie on a chicken? I didn't even... Huh? Someone please explain that in the comments. Nothing crazy to see here. Just a zombie standing out in the blatant sun. These are these are creepy. I ew. I, I should have added like maybe like an eye on the side. They kind of just remind me of like orcas right now, like a big old whale. Okay, let's see what a baby. Why you keep spawning on chickens? What is this? Explain. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. That is that's pretty adorable. As disgusting as this thing's meant to be, it looks pretty good. Yeah, imagine a zombie apocalypse starts and this is the stuff you have to deal with. Now we're probably gonna make one of the most lovable creatures in Minecraft even better. We're gonna make this wolf an absolute G. Once again, let's start off with our head. We'll start off with this gray head frame. We'll add on this faceplate. We'll draw on some of the eyes. We'll make the face a little bit more round. We'll go ahead and throw on one of our ears. We'll color in the inner parts white. We'll throw on our nose. And then we'll add on this neck. I'll color in the bottom white. We'll throw on the body. Color in the bottom white. We'll add in the bottom jaw. We'll pop on the nose. This thing kind of looks like a reindeer. We'll make some of the back pieces white. We'll throw on the bottom part of our tail. We'll add on one of our legs. I'll throw on a foot. And then we'll make the thigh. We'll make the hind legs a little bit bigger. Now let's go ahead and get this thing textured up. And I feel like a wolf turned out really good. The wolf is probably single-handedly the most lovable creature in Minecraft. If I'm wrong, well, feel free to call me out. But I'm excited to see how this thing turned out. Please look good. Please look... Oh God, what happened to your head? Well, I'm looking at it. I don't know what I did wrong. It's like all fuzzy all the way around. I don't, I don't know how that happened. But hey, it still looks super cute. Where's the, where's the baby one? Oh, look at this thing. You can't tell me this isn't adorable. What? What we need to do, we need to get a bone. I need to tame the wolf. Come here. Come. Oh, that's perfect. Why are you red? 
what happened well i have a tame wolf it looks good i don't know why it's glitching out but it still looks very good now this next one's gonna be a little different than the other ones most of them i just improved the mob but i kind of want to turn the ravager into like more of an elephant because this thing honestly let's be let's be completely honest it looks kind of ugly let's go ahead and start off with just the head we'll start off with this gray colored head i'll draw on some little eyes i'm gonna add on these husks and then we're gonna throw in the trunk let's slap on our ears and let's make the legs the same color we'll make the body the same gray color we'll smack on this tail now let's go ahead and get this thing textured up and honestly i think this turned out pretty good now i know i'm technically not making the ravenger better but shut up the elephant looks cool let's throw down our big angry oh i messed up there we go that looks a lot better than that weird purple thing this thing looks good should i can i, can I even like can i get up here can i just hop on the oh i'm sorry I don't know. I think these things turned out really good. I could make like a whole entire zoo with these guys. I'm pretty sure they'll still attack me if I go into survival, right? Oh God, they want to kill me. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I, there's nothing I can really do to fight these things off. They're just, oh God, I did so much damage. If I hop in this tree, they can't get to me. Look at you. Look at you idiots. Oh God, they can still hop the tree. Next, I want to do something more simple, but make it a lot better. Let's go ahead and improve this guardian. Let's go ahead and start with the tail. I'm going to make these a little more 3D. Let's point the original fin a little more downward. And then we're going to duplicate this part to the top. Let's go ahead and make a new eye. I'll throw on an outer layer and then we'll make the tip blood red. And we'll draw a little bit of blood around it. And then we're going to add on this more 3D look to the spine. And honestly, for not doing too much, I think this one looks pretty good. I do want to texture it up a little bit because the eye's a little bit dead. And I think this gives it a little bit more of that disgusting horror feeling. Now for the guardian, we have to go to one of those. Uh, I don't even know what they're called. I figured it out. They're called ocean monuments. If you can't tell by now, I'm a complete noob with Minecraft. I do see one of our guardians. Hey, stop swimming away. You know what? That one's being annoying. I'm going to spawn in a bunch of them. Okay, this, this actually isn't too bad. I don't know. I like the tail, but I feel like the eye might have been a little much. I feel like the eye was a little unnecessary. Maybe I could have just pulled it off better. I do like the 3D look to the spine and the tail. Yeah, as I said, it's pretty good. But if I was to do this again, I probably would make the eye a little bit different. Last up, I couldn't forget to do the adorable turtle. Let's go ahead and make everything gone except the head. Let's color in the head this green color. We'll draw on these eyes. I'll make the back of this tan. Let's make the bottom part of this cell this tan color. And then we'll keep the outer part this brown. I'll add an extended layer. We'll throw on these two side pieces. We'll throw on this tail. I'll make the bottom lighter. Let's make our legs this green color. I'll make the bottom tan. Now let's get our turtle textured up. And I think the turtle looks really good. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I've never seen a turtle in Minecraft. Then again, I honestly don't really play that much. Now, I hope this one turned out good. This took a long time. So if it didn't, I might just cry. Um, turtles can be on land, right? Let me just smack them down. Hey, no, you're not going to the water. That looks good. I like how the, the derpy front of the face is just there. Um, I have an eye on one side. It seems he lost an eye. He lost an eye and uh, he lost an eye in Nam. This turtle's been through a lot. Do not judge him. Baby turtles are a thing, right? Move. Oh, it's so tiny. Oh, it's so tiny. What? Drown. We're going to start with a rabbit. We're going to make everything this black color. And then we'll start working on our head. We'll squish down the face. We'll add on an extended block. And then we'll throw on the mouth. We can't forget the nose. Now let's work on our ears. I'm going to shrink this side down. We'll add on this bent piece. And then we'll do the same to the other side. We'll give the body an extra layer. And then we'll add in this slanted piece for definition. We'll give the front foot an actual toe. And then we'll do the same with the other side. We'll keep our back legs the same. Now let's texture this up. I think these are pretty decent ears. I think those eyes are pretty decent. Now let's add, add a little bit of noise. And with a little bit of noise, this isn't too bad. Now I think the rabbit is super cute. I don't really know anyone that doesn't like rabbits. And if you do, you're just wrong. Oh my goodness. Dude, you can't look at this thing and tell me it's not adorable. Now, I'll be honest, I like to over texture things. And by texture, I mean, just add noise. But sometimes it works out. And I think this situation, it worked out really nice. Let's see what a little baby rabbit looks like. Oh, that is so cute. Dude, this thing is adorable. I like these rabbits because they're really simple, but it does give it a little bit better of a touch. Oh my God, the wolf is killing them. What in the world is this? Stop. You guys didn't see me hit a wolf. Next up, let's work on Fatty Magoo. And by that, I just mean a pig. We'll start off with our head like normal. Let's give it a couple little eyes on the side. Now we can start throwing on some ears. Let's give them a bit of definition with this piece. And then we'll just duplicate that to the other side. We're basically just gonna extend the nose out. 
And I think that's looking pretty good. And we're basically gonna keep the same body. Now we'll start building out a tail. We'll add on some connecting pieces. We'll throw in our final touch. And that tail turned out really good. We're gonna make the legs a little bit more bulky, but we'll basically keep the same legs. Let's throw in some slight texturing. I think that turned out pretty good. Let's load them up. Pigs are honestly a really cute mob. RIP Technoblade. And I feel like we did a good job at making these look a little bit better. Oh, you're so... What is going on? No, they're gonna kill the rabbit. Oh my God. Why are there so many wolves? But back to the pig, you're pretty cute. I think adding a little bit of bulk on the legs made it look a lot better. We did a good job with the tail. I really like how that turned out. I feel like maybe I could have made the eyes go around the head more because it is a tad bit awkward, but they're still pretty cute. Let's spawn in a little baby pig. That's even cuter. It has such a big head. Look at the way it runs it's just so fast. This is literally just a cuteness overload. And speaking of cute, that rabbit's about to die. I feel like we can't do the pig without doing the cow. So let's go ahead and do this beef stick. We'll start off with our head like normal. Let's get rid of these antlers. Then let's squish this down. We'll angle it up a little bit. Then we'll add these cute eyes to the side. We'll throw these two pieces back on. Then we'll build on this extended mouth. I think that looks like a pretty good mouth. We'll throw on this ear bit. And we'll cover the inside pink. We'll give it a little bit of angling. We'll do the same thing to the other side. Now we'll add on this tail. And then we'll cut out some bottom piece holes. I think something like that looks pretty good. We'll basically give it the same leg style as the pig. Let's add a little bit of noise to this. And after adding a little bit of noise, I feel like it honestly looks super good. Now, to be honest, I have no opinion on cows. To me, they're just another mob. But now, they're gonna be spectacular. You know, that's not too bad. This actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I really like that we gave the ears a bit of definition, like the pig. I mean, both of these together, they're, they're kind of cute. Okay, we gotta spawn in a... Oh my god, that is so adorable. Now, the ears are kind of goofy on this. They're just huge. But it's still so cute. I don't really know what I would change with the cow. I think we did a pretty solid job. Dude, these baby cows are so cute. Off with their heads. Let's move on to something a little more cute. A parrot is the perfect call. Let's start off with the head. We're gonna keep the feather pretty much the same. We're gonna make the beak a little bit more extended. Just something simple like this. We're gonna give our body two layers. Now we're gonna leave our original wing, but we're gonna add a few extra touches. Now we'll duplicate out this wing, and then we'll just slide it to the bottom. We'll do the same to the other side. We're actually gonna give the parrot a solid leg, and then we'll just color in a couple toes. We'll do the same to the other side. We'll keep the original tail, but we'll also add on this yellow layer. And honestly, I feel like the parrot looks pretty good. This thing is gonna be adorable. Now, in my opinion, parrots are up there competing for the cutest mob along with like wolves. They are just so freaking adorable. Not as cute as little Rainy though. Oh, whoa. Now, I do have a little bit of Z fighting, which I can fix later. But for now, this thing is so cute. This is so simple, but so much better than the original parrot. It just gives us a better vibe. Like, this thing is just so adorable. Now, I would put it on my shoulder, but I don't really know how to do that. So for now, we can just admire them. But like I said, I'll fix the Z fighting in the pack. It's not that big of a deal. But out of all of them, I feel like this is something they definitely could add into the game. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Now let's do something you really don't see too much. Let's go ahead and make this Endermite better. We're gonna start by changing the eye location. Like something like this looks pretty nice. Let's give it similar things like the spider head. I feel like that looks pretty good. We'll add on these weird legs. And for keeping it pretty simple, I think this turned out pretty well. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I made this in like five minutes because my cat keeps jumping on my desk. So I don't really know what I'm expecting. Oh my goodness, this thing is terrifying. Now, I don't know why there's an extra leg running around. I also don't know why it's just spinning in circles. It's kind of broken. <laughs> what the heck? But like, if I actually added an animation to this and made it so it walks creepily, this would be so gross. Now let's start building out a dragon. We'll start by building out one of the wings. We'll add one of these sharp pieces to the tip of it, and then we'll build on a wing. We'll push our wing out even further. We'll duplicate that over to the other side. And now let's build on some legs. We'll give it this nice bent structure. We'll add on the bottom piece, and then we'll add on this foot. We'll duplicate that over, and then we'll add the same style to the back. We'll put the same sharp part on the lower back, and then we'll make this kind of into a tail. We'll add these same sharp tips to the edge, and now we gotta build on the head. We'll start by building off this head frame. We'll throw in our eyes. We'll add another sharp piece to the back. We'll add on this really cool jaw, and then we'll add in all these teeth. And I feel like this is an insanely good looking head. And it looks to me like our dragon is pretty much complete. We all know the wonderful Ender Dragon, but this is a huge step up. Let's see how it turned out. Oh my God, this thing is crazy. This dragon turned out so good. If I had to fight an Ender Dragon like this, I guarantee I would lose. We even added in this sick animation for flying. 
There is no way you're beating this thing. And I kind of want to turn this into like a really cool whale. Let's start deleting all the fins. We'll take out this big nose. Now I'm going to move the tail all the way back. We'll start off with this blue head. And then we'll make an extra long blue body. We'll throw on one of the fins. And then we'll duplicate it to the other side. Now we got to get this colored in nicely. We'll make the bottom this light color. And then we'll add the same coloring to the side. And I think that's a pretty decent start. And with a little bit of texturing, I think it looks pretty good. We'll add a blowhole to the top. Now let's make some eyes. And I think our new and improved dolphin slash whale looks pretty good. As you can see, this is the lowest resolution I could get Minecraft. The blocks aren't even real blocks. They're just white pieces with the names on it. Everything in this world is just so messed up and wrong. Like This is water. I'm inside of water. This is just cursed. But our first mob should fix us a little bit. We're going to blow up this area with TNT. And now I think our whale has enough space. Let's put it down and see what we got. Oh my God. Well, this is definitely somewhat better than that other pack. Our whale definitely made it a lot better, but this world is so unrealistic. Like what even is the sun? We're gonna make this cave spider a lot better. We're gonna start by making the face a lot more 3D. And basically all we did was we pulled the major points out to make them a little more realistic. And if you're afraid of spiders, I am so sorry. Now for the most part, our neck's gonna stay the same, but it's gonna be a crucial anchor point for the rest of our body. We're gonna angle our body upwards, and then we're gonna add on a second layer to make it more 3D. We're gonna add a bunch of these little pieces from the face, and they're kind of just meant to be a little more disgusting on the body. I think it turned out pretty good. Now you know the legs have to be angled. We're gonna add on three parts to this. We'll attach this last part, and then we'll add that all around. And for the most part, our spider looks a lot more realistic. It's definitely extremely creepy, but it gets the job done. Now for our cave spider, I feel like it's only right that we do this inside a cave. We already see this looks really bad. Let's throw down our cave spider and see what we got. Oh my God. I'll look at the spider in a second, but this looks a lot different. All these blocks are definitely more detailed. We I mean, just look at the little grass. Even the stone is just a lot better. The lava is very uncomfortable and it looks way too detailed to be lava. Look at the creeper. Even the zombie just has more texture on it. And look at this guy. Oh, this is insane. Oh, this case spider is so freaky. Now, I really wanted to do a mob I have not seen a lot. I have not seen a lot of people make the phantom better. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start off with just our head like normal. We're going to start giving it a more 3D texture feel. We'll throw in a couple spine plates. And then we're going to make the head a little more sharp at the end. That's looking pretty good so far. And then we're going to do the same thing for the front of the face. And this is already looking a lot different than our normal phantom. We'll give the bottom jaw some texture. Now let's start working on the wings. We're gonna make all the different colors a little more 3D. This looks pretty decent to me. Now we'll start making the wing more curved. We'll add on the connecting piece. We'll duplicate it to make it more, more 3D. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. As for the body, we're gonna keep the same 3D look and we'll do the same thing all the way down to the tail. I think our Phantom is looking a lot more realistic than it usually does. Let's go ahead and load this up into the game. Now, this is our last mob, so it better turn out really good. The world is also gonna take on a massive change. Oh my, what happened to the head? My phantom is literally missing a head. Well, this definitely does look a lot more realistic. I don't have the slightest clue why my phantoms have no head. Let's start adding on a bunch of teeth. I'm thinking this looks pretty good. Let's throw on this top yellow layer and then we'll slap on this three yellow layer to the top. We'll throw on this forehead piece. Let's cover up these eyes and then we'll throw on our own eyelids. Now let's make this a bit more 3D. Now let's build on the lower jaw. We'll keep the same bottom jaw and now we'll add on some teeth. And this is looking really good. Let's start making our sticks. And I feel like this one came out pretty nice. Let's do the same thing to all the other ones. And this looks pretty good. Let's touch up some of the teeth. We'll make the head a bit more 3D. And I think the final product looks amazing. Now let's check out this first mob. And to see the blaze, we have to go to the nether. All right, let's see what our blaze looks like in three, two, one. Oh my God. This thing looks absolutely insane. This is definitely a mutated blaze. Those teeth are absolutely terrifying. I kind of wish I made them more of a disgusting yellow color, but I still think they turned out pretty good. We have to go find a blaze spawner. All right, there's our spawner. It's time to fight. Let's see if I can survive these mutated blazes. All right, first one's here. Oh God, I'm already on fire. I just have to break this before any more spot. Oh God, there's more. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Okay, there we go. We can break this. We can break this. We can break this. Please, please, please. Why didn't I get myself a pickaxe? Oh God, it got me on fire again. No, I'm so low. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't. Oh, half heart. There is no way we're going to. No. Now let's go ahead and do a ghast. Now this is probably the most difficult mob from this pack. So I'm going to have a tough time. We'll start with the face like normal. We'll start by building out the structure of the head. And then we'll draw on this disgusting eye. We'll make the tip blood red. 
And now we'll start throwing on the bottom portions. We'll build out the mouth plate. And now we'll start building on these tentacles. And I think this first one looks pretty good. We'll start adding these all around. We'll add the same ones to the mouth. We'll add a couple to the side. We'll do the same style for the bottom tentacles. Now let's add a bit, a little bit of gray texturing around. We're gonna smack this into Photoshop. And after a little bit of noise, I think it came out absolutely amazing. I am so excited for this one. In my opinion, this is probably the best one in this pack. That is just horrifying to see. I'm also too lazy to go to the nether. So we're gonna spawn him in the overworld. Oh my God, that is so terrifying. This has to be the creepiest gas I have ever seen. Let's go ahead and spawn in a ton of these guys. Now the overworld is just overrun by these gas. I thought about setting up to fight these, but why would I even put myself through that? There is no way I'm good enough to take these things out. Let's delete everything except the head. And then we'll color it all in orange. Let's start adding on a couple pieces. We'll pull this out to be more 3D. Now we can start building on the nose. And then we'll rotate these pieces to give it more of a better angle. We'll do the same with the other side. We'll add on this jaw plate. And then we'll just rotate it. We'll start building on another 3D layer. And then we'll just rotate it to match with the body. I'm thinking something like this looks pretty good. Now for this, we're gonna give it two big cubes as eyes. And then we'll angle them both out pretty weird. I'm gonna go ahead and color these in. And then we'll draw on these cute eyes. Let's start adding back in our body. We'll continue to make all these layers 3D. We'll do the same to the front. Can't forget the back side. And we'll make this layer 3D as well. Now let's start adding on some legs. We'll throw in this lower connecting piece. We'll start adding on some toes. And we're gonna throw in these three weird toes. And then we'll duplicate it to the other side. We'll start adding on our hind legs. We'll give it a nice angled shape. And then we'll give it the same three weird toes. Now let's get this thing textured up. We'll start coloring in the jaws. And then we'll do the toes. We'll make the body a dark green. We'll keep the underbottom this tan color. Now let's add some texturing. And honestly, I feel like this turned out really good. Now here we are, most unrealistic look I could get for Minecraft. As you can tell, everything is just nothing. So that's pretty cool. But after we put down our first mob, everything should be better. All right, I'm excited to see what we get. Three, two, one, yo! Okay, this definitely looks a lot better. I've never seen a frog before. That is a really, oh God, I still have the orange bits. Now, I also do have a lot of Z fighting still, which I can fix, but not right now. And my first thought for this is almost more of like a Grim Reaper feeling. Let's just make sure we can see the head. We're gonna leave it this light blue color, and then we're gonna make the head a tad bit more 3D. Now for the hood, we just added an extra face, and then we carved out this middle section. Now let's add on the back parts of the hood. We'll rotate this piece up. We'll add in this bit right here, and then we'll extend this bottom piece out. And I feel like that looks really good. We'll throw in these eyes as temporary pieces. Now we're gonna start with a solid body figure. Now we're gonna add on these bottom bits before we carve them out. And now we can carve out some pieces. We'll add in all these slots. And then we'll color in all the tips. We'll make our back pieces more 3D. And then we'll add the same piece to the front. Let's start structuring on our arm. And then we'll add on this little stubble as the hand. We'll color it in a light blue. And then we'll just keep the same thing on the other side. Let's carve out our wing. And then we'll just draw it out. Now we'll just color in our wings. Let's color in the hood. And I think this looks pretty good. Let's get it textured up. And after some slight texturing, I think our LA looks pretty good. Here we are with the LA. Another mob I have never seen. Let's see how this changes our world in three, two, one. Oh my God. This is so freaky. Okay, this has to be the most adorable mob I've ever made. I don't even know what the lays do, but it just looks cute. I think we did a pretty good job of making it look more real, but still kind of simple. The Grim Reaper aspect was definitely the right call. But man, just look at our world. What are these leaves? The sand is just weird. I mean, the grass is getting a little better. What in the world is that thing? Yo, look at the lava. Oh my goodness. What about the water? What? How did I? Huh? How is there water in the... What? Wait, what? You can water trees now? What in the world is this? Is that a new feature? What the heck? Why can I water trees? This is this is feels wrong. Never mind the trees. These things are adorable. We did pretty good. Now let's go with something a little more fun. Let's do the warden. This just makes sure we can only see the head. Now we're gonna have to make this face look a lot better. Let's start drawing stuff in. Let's keep this outer shell to our mouth. I think it looks pretty good. Let's start adding in some coloring. Now let's do the same style all the way around. And I feel like this is looking pretty solid. Now let's start working on the tendril. We'll keep this piece extended. We'll throw on this piece. We'll add in another extension. Then we'll add in the hook piece. I'm thinking something like this looks pretty good. Now let's do that to the other side. I'm thinking something like this looks pretty good. And then we're gonna extend it a little bit with some spikes. Now let's go work on the body. 
Now for our toast circle, I kind of want to add like ghosts to the middle. I wanted to see more mythical. Let's add some color splashes. Now let's go ahead and extend up the spine. Rotate all these pieces up. And I'm thinking these look pretty good. Now instead of the boring grip cages, we're going to make them more 3D. We'll throw in one of these pieces. And then we'll throw in the heading piece. Let's add some weird coloring to it. Now let's make this layer more 3D. I'll add on the shoulder plate. And then we'll add on some really long spikes. We'll throw on the back as well. We'll throw on a couple long fingers. Now we just gotta do the legs. We'll extend out this leg. We'll do the same to the other side. We'll throw on the bottom pieces. We'll throw on these toes. And now we'll just texture it up a little bit. And I think this might be the best mob I've ever made. Oh, the word is single-handedly the longest I've ever spent on one model. So I hope it turned out good. Let's see in three, two, one. Oh my God. Yo, this thing is insane. I really like that we went with a bigger scale for the horn. Why are you killing the horses? I've never seen this thing either, so I don't really know. How oh my God. I just murdered the horse. Is it going to kill the baby too? Oh. <laughs> what in the world is wrong with this guy? Our world looks so much more detailed though. We can actually see the grass. Hey, look, I got an achievement. That's pretty cool. Honestly, I am so happy with this warden. This is by far the hardest I've worked on a mob. And I think it turned out really good. If you think otherwise, I might just cry. Now we're gonna go with something I feel like I've never even done before. Let's work on the polar bear. Have you seen any of my other videos? You've seen like cows and pigs. We're basically gonna try and give it the same body shape as that. Let's start with our head like normal. Let's start by extending up the head. We'll throw on the same lower jaw plate. We'll throw on these side pieces to make it more 3D. And then we'll add the same ear we use for wolves. We'll add on our snout. And then we'll angle our bottom jaw. This literally just looks like when I do a wolf. We'll go with this nice three layer body shape. And now we can start adding on the thighs. We'll throw in our toes. Now we kind of just need to color this in. Honestly, I really like the way this thing turned out. Let's see if it looks good in game two. Now, honestly, polar bears are pretty cute. If you think otherwise, you're just wrong. So let's see if we did a good justice. And oh my goodness. Look at the dirt. That is crazy. I'm sorry, polar bear. I'll come look at you in a second. This all definitely looks a lot more realistic. The pig just makes me kind of uncomfortable. Now let's go look at our polar bear. I do like the body. It follows the same trend that I normally do. It does have a bit of Z fighting, which I mean, I can fix later. I'm not going to fix now because I'm lazy, but it did turn out really good. Let's get a baby one. Oh, that is so adorable. This little guy is so cute. It's definitely not my favorite. It's not as good as some of the other ones, but it's still pretty cute. I think we did solid. Now let's work on another really fun mob. Let's go ahead and make this wither mutated. And if you saw my previous mutant video, you got a huge sneak peek of what this is gonna be. Now let's just go ahead and start with one head. Now we're gonna start making this more of a 3D version of the actual head. We'll keep the same basic head structure, except we'll leave in this little hole for the eye. Now we're gonna make the eyepiece pure white. We can start adding on a couple teeth and then we'll basically just duplicate the bottom jaw. Now we have to get the other three heads to look basically the same as this. And I think both of these turned out pretty good. Now let's go ahead and work on the body. Now we're gonna need a piece to connect all the heads and I'll throw in these connecting beams. We'll throw in the same beam to the other side. Now for our body, we're gonna keep it pretty much the same, except we're gonna extend out these edges. We're gonna make this look a little bit more like a rib cage. Let's duplicate these to the other side and then we'll just add back on our bottom piece. And I think this is gonna look absolutely sick. Now we have to go ahead and spawn in a wither. I'm honestly really hyped for this one. It's probably my favorite one out of this entire pack. Oh my God. Goodness, that is so freaky. This looks so insane. I think adding in the rib cage is a little bit of a good touch. Oh my God, it's gotta kill the sheep. Oh my God, why are you killing everything? You're so evil. They did nothing to you, stop. This wither is an actual demon. I can take it out though, I am so confident. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself some good loot because I've never fought a wither in my life. There's no way I can lose looking like this. All right, wither, it's time for me and you to fight. Get over here. Oh God, you're so fast. Oh, whoa, you're strong. Well, I can't hit him up. I, I can't reach. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. I can't reach him. How in the world am I supposed to kill this thing when I can't reach it? Okay, we got to lead it into a cave. Okay, this is more of a fair fight. I still can't reach it. Oh my goodness. Please, Wither. I hit it. I hit it. I'm the best. Oh my gosh. I'm doing so much damage. I can do this. I can I can do this. No. Oh my God. Have heart. Wait, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Please, please. No, zombie, stay away. Let me, let me, let me. Oh my... No! Actually, let's end with what's gonna be the thumbnail. Let's do this skeleton. Now we're basically gonna keep the same head style as the wither. We'll get back on these nasty teeth. And I think the black eyes look pretty good. Now we'll build up this really creepy looking spine. And we can't forget the bottom of it. 
Now in the full pack, they made this quiver, but I honestly have no idea how to build that. So we're just gonna use that asset. Now let's put on the arm. We'll do the same with the other side. The legs are pretty standard. And hey, I think this skeleton looks pretty cool. Now I actually lied. I might be the most hyped for this one. Oh my God, that is disgusting. Look at the face. This is so gross. The quiver is an absolutely beautiful touch. Oh my gosh, this is just terrifying. There's no way you would catch me fighting one of these things. Just imagine an entire army of these going up against you. Like, what are you supposed to do about that? We're gonna start off by removing the head, take away the bill and the chin, and we're gonna keep everything attached to this body. We're gonna build the tail, extend the back piece, and we're gonna keep this all colored in green. Let's give it a neck, start building the mouth, and I think this is a pretty decent start. Let's go ahead and build in some legs. Give it a nice wide foot. Copy the leg over. Let's add on an arm stub and the hand to go along with it. And I think this looks really good. Now let's color it in a little bit. I think those are good eyes. We'll add on some black hands. Now let's texture it up a bit. And I think this thing looks really good. I think we did a super good job on this one. I'm hyped to see what it looks like. Let's see what we got. Oh, that is adorable. It walks a little funky. I kind of, I kind of messed that up. There we go. That looks a lot better. These things are absolutely adorable. What? Wait, let's see what a baby chicken looks like. Move. Get out of the way. Oh, come on. Just look at this thing. Just look at it. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Let's see if they can fly still. They should still be able to fly. Oh, look at that. They float down. That's OP. I feel like we did a great job on this. Now let's move on to the next one. Next, we're going to go with something that's more of a controversy. We're going to use an iron golem, but we're going to turn it into an ape. Now, I looked it up. Apes are technically dinosaurs, so uh, shut up. Now, we're going to remove everything except the body, and this is what we're left with. Let's go ahead and make some legs. We'll add in some feet, duplicate it over. We'll create this big noggin, add on this mouth. We'll give it this top piece, and then we'll rotate it a little bit. Let's go ahead and make some arms. We'll give it the big fist, and we'll give it the little hand. We'll make the body touch both arms, and then we'll draw on the back piece. Let's give it some eyes. And I think our monkey looks really good. Now, frankly, I don't care if you think the ape's a dinosaur or not. The internet said it was, so that must be true. So when I made this, I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger, but this thing is tiny. This thing is so small, what? Even when they get damaged, they still look pretty good to me. Oh, you're dead. You didn't say anything. Oh, I missed. Ah, no witnesses. But I'm honestly really happy with how this turned out. This, I mean, it looks just like an ape. I'm thinking the upcoming videos will actually animate them so they have like cool walks or whatever the actual character has. But for now, I'm happy with this. Next up on the list, we're gonna turn this sheep into a stegosaurus. Let's just start deleting everything. And now we have our naked sheep body. Let's go ahead and make some legs. We'll give it some toes. And we'll just color in the feet white. Let's go ahead and give this thing a nice body. We'll draw on a front piece. We'll make the head. We'll give it a nice nose. And then we'll give it this mouth. Now we'll work on the tail. We'll squish it in a little bit. Now let's color it in. And I think this is an absolute W. I'm hyped for this one. I used to love Stegosaurus as a kid, so I'm hyped for this. Let's see what we got. What? 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 Wait, am I? What? <laughs> What did I do? I don't, I, I don't understand. Why is it like this? Are they all like this? Is the baby sheep like that? It is, what? I don't get it. I just went back and checked the design and I have absolutely no clue why it looks like that. I know some of you are smarter than me in the comments. What, what did I do wrong? Why are my stegosauruses doing handstands? That's, Jesus. Next up on the list, we're gonna go with a wolf. And I don't know why, but I think for a wolf, a velociraptor would be perfect. All right, let's start deleting everything again. Now what we're left with is the body and the mane. We need the body for the rotation, but we're gonna build everything on the mane. Let's start building out some legs. We'll build on the bottom part. We'll color the toes. And those look pretty good. I think this is good enough for a head. And that works for the body. Now let's start working on the arm. We'll color in the nail the same gray color. And I think this is pretty solid. We're gonna make some 3D eyes. And I think that's pretty solid. Now we'll give it some teeth. This. This is a very, very derpy Velociraptor, by the way. This is both really cute and really ugly. Oh God, I'm not ready to see this thing. Now, everyone loves a good wolf in Minecraft, so I feel like this one is near and dear to all of us. Let's see how bad I screwed it up. Here's a little wolf. Oh, 
Why are they all upside down? Now I have spent the past 30 minutes fixing this Velociraptor and I am happy to say I got it to work. I might try and fix that, but as for now, I still don't know why this messed up. But bask in the glory of Thomas. Thomas the Velociraptor. It doesn't really look so good. Does, oh, you're, no, oh. I didn't even get to fix that yet. You're already killing stuff. Dude, look at this thing, dude. It looks so good. And look, 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 look at the little baby one. Oh my God. It's so cute. Oh, you see the bone? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what? Don't run away from me. Oh, why does it not work? Oh, it does. Oh, now it's red. Oh God. Well, it seems I've completely broke Thomas. He won't sit, he won't move. Um, sorry, dude. But hey, oh, you're so adorable. Look at you, just look at your little face. Like, come on. This is so adorable. This is my favorite one yet. Okay, since I screwed the last mob up, we're gonna go with something a little bit more basic. I'm gonna try and turn this thing into a T-Rex. Start getting rid of all this stuff. We'll move the head up, shrink the leg down. We'll make these legs a little more stubby. It looks pretty decent. We'll make these white like the toes. And I'll color in the body this tan color. I'm gonna shrink down the head a bit. That looks like a good mouth to me. Let's draw on some teeth. Now let's give it some stubby arms. There is no way this is gonna look any type of good. Go ahead and draw on an eye. This is so disgusting. Ah, yes, our beautiful T-Rex. From now on, our T-Rex will go by the beautiful name, Red. I wanted to make this thing as ugly as possible, and I think we achieved that. Okay, let's hope I didn't mess this one up like I messed up the other ones. Like I messed up you? The apes look pretty good, so that's okay. But let's see if our T-Rex turned out any type of good. Let's smack it down. <laughs> oh my god. This is great. What? Why are his eyes on? What? You know, regardless, this thing looks really good. These are... I like this. This is derpy. It's cute. I don't know what's going on with the back, but it looks pretty good. Can it run? Do you run? No. These things don't run. Okay. What if I go into... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. They do run. They do. They do. They do. Break. Oh, God. They're going around. Oh, God. I fell in the hole. No. I fell in the hole. I'm so dead. Oh, dear God. I should just spawn the other one. Why not? Why not? Oh, can they not get here? Oh, you're too big. You can't reach. Isn't this just ironic? It's like an actual T-Rex. Oh, it still killed me. Now, I have the best idea ever. We're going to get our T-Rexes, and we're going to get our apes together, and they're going to duke it out. We'll start building the arena. All right, let's spawn in a decent amount of these guys. Oh God, I can't spawn them fast enough. All right, let them fight, let them fight. Freaking go, go, go. I really don't know what mob is stronger, but I'm gonna take a smooth guess that the, oh God, they're destroying them. That wasn't even a fight. Monkey wins. We're gonna make this wolf into the little rat. And by that, I just mean a chihuahua. We're gonna start by coloring everything in this tan color. We're gonna remove our mouth and we're also gonna take away the ears to start. We'll start by building on our mouth. We'll add on a black mouth. And we're gonna keep these eyes kind of extended. We'll add on some derpy eye pupils. Dear God, this thing is ugly. Now we'll start smacking on some ears and then we'll start carving them out. And I think these two look pretty good. We're gonna make the mouth a lighter color. We'll keep the same standard wolf body, except we'll actually give it a perky tail. The legs will basically stay the same. We'll color in the bottoms black though. I'm gonna add in a few more light spots. Let's texture it up a little bit. You know what, we just added a little bit of noise and I feel like it doesn't look too bad. Now, I hate chihuahuas more than any dog. To be frank, they're just useless. They're always extremely angry and I just do not like that. And this one's probably not gonna be any better. And since I hate them so much, we're gonna spawn them in the cold. Let's see, let's put them right next to the polar bear. And, oh, you're gross. Even in the game, I just don't like it. I think it's really funny that I popped out the eyes and I made them not even on purpose. The baby chihuahua is kind of cute. Whoops. But man, I just hate this dog. If any of you own a chihuahua, I apologize for you. You might have picked the worst dog you could get. Next up, we're going to make a boxer. And I grew up with a boxer, so this one better be good. Let's start off by only working on the head. We're going to keep the boxer this dark brown. Now for an ear, I think this is pretty solid. Mine had a really dark ear, so we're going to go ahead and color it in darker. And then we're gonna duplicate it to the other side. Now, boxers have a really derpy face. So we're gonna start with this mouth frame. We're gonna give it this angled mouth shape. Can't forget to bop on our nose. We'll build in the clamping part of the mouth and we'll keep that bottom part white. Now we'll make the eyes and we won't make it as derpy as a chihuahua because I actually respect boxers. We'll build in this little slant to the face. We'll keep the same wolf body 
and then we'll throw on a couple legs. We'll give it a two-part section to the tail. This looks like a distinguished young fellow. Let's go ahead and color it in a bit. We'll give it white feet. Now let's texture this up a little bit. And with a tad bit of texturing, I think it turned out pretty good. Now, if you paid any type of attention, you know I said I love boxers. I grew up with one, so this one's really special to me. I definitely put more work into it into that ugly chihuahua. Let's go ahead and put him on a tree. Oh, that's so cute. Dude, I'm gonna freaking cry. This dog is gonna make me cry. It's like I just brought my dog back to life. I need a baby one. That move. Why is your head so big? It's like the head size didn't even change between the baby and the adult. We spawn in a ton of these. Oh my goodness. This somewhat feels really cursed, but also really cool. This is honestly really sad for me. I'm not even gonna lie. Can I get an RIP in the comments? Okay, now we have to go with one of the weirdest dogs in the dog community. We're gonna go with Pugs. They're both super adorable and really messed up. I mean, look at this thing's face. But either way, we got this. We'll start off with our head. We're gonna keep it this nice tan color. We're gonna build on a couple layers to our mouth. We'll make this bit a bit darker. And of course, we can't forget the nose. We'll start building out our ears. I think that's a pretty good shape. And then we'll duplicate that over. This time around, we'll line up the body a bit more since Pugs are pretty straight. We'll give it his stubby legs. And they kind of have these weird curved tails. We'll give it some nice eyes. I feel like that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and get this thing textured up. You know what? A little bit of noise doesn't look too bad. Now, Pugs are kind of one of the mutts of the dog community. They're pretty screwed up, but honestly, they're really cute. I've never had one and I've really never wanted one, but if I did have one, this would make me happy. It seems I have messed up the tail. But would a pug really be complete without some type of deformation? No, no, it would not. I still don't get why the baby ones have ginormous heads, but maybe that's just a normal thing in Minecraft and I don't know what I'm talking about. I think they turned out pretty good. They look like a like sausage link or something. They're pretty chunky, pretty basic, but they're definitely pretty cute. Let's throw a bunch of them on the side of a hole. Oh God, I'm killing them. Oh my goodness, I just killed one. We're gonna act like that didn't happen. And now be free, be free. The pugs will take over the world. This village is just being overrun by pugs. I love this dog. This is that point in the video where I have to ask you guys to subscribe. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that red button right now. The support really means a ton to me. Also, if you're enjoying the video at this point, don't forget to drop a like on it as it really helps the channel out. Let me know what dog is your favorite and I'll catch y'all back in the video. Now, I was thinking of what dog to do next and I figured we have to do one that everyone knows. Frankly, just so I can make it into a thumbnail. But we're gonna make Walter or in other words, a bull terrier. Let's go ahead and make the whole wolf white. And then let's start working on the cranium. Now, Walter's eyes are very high and they also have a tad white glow to them. So I think those two look pretty good. Now let's start building out some ears and the inner piece is more pink. And then we try to make the top bit a little sharper. We'll duplicate that over. Now let's go ahead and build that big snout. We'll add on a bottom jaw and then we'll smack on that big old nose. Walter has a little bit of pink around the mouth. I'm thinking something like that isn't too bad. I wanna keep the bottom piece a little darker to be like a lip. We'll keep our same standard wolf body. The legs will basically stay the same and we'll pretty much keep the same tail. There's a little bit of pink around the eyelids. Walter looks like they're wearing makeup. I just decided to remove that. It didn't look too good. Let's throw in a little bit of texturing. And honestly, I feel like this looks pretty good. Now, Walter might honestly be one of the most iconic dogs of all time. If someone thinks different, feel free to comment what you think is the best dog of all time. So hopefully I didn't do Walter dirty. Let's we'll set him down right here. Oh, you're so adorable. This, this didn't come out too bad. I don't, what happened to the back of your ear? I'm sorry. The spawn in a baby, Walter. That's not a, what? that's not babies. What? Why can't I? Oh, there we are. Oh God. Yeah, the babies look pretty cute too. See, these ones with the big heads work. The other ones just looked weird. It does appear I messed up a lot of the texturing, but that's okay. I also messed up the head a little bit. It looks like kind of jammed in, but that's okay. Walter would forgive me. And why is the, <laughs> the tail's not even centered. Oh God, what have I done? Either way, I feel like Walter is probably my favorite right now. Now, lastly, we're going to make a Corgi. And I have a weird connection with Corgis. I grew up around a ton of them and all of them died. But that's okay because we're going to remake them in Minecraft. Now, we're going to make it this tan color as well. And then let's start working on the head. We'll give it the same face style as a Chihuahua. Let's shape up the ears. We're going to give it these big old ears. Let's add on these cute eyeballs. Let's add on some side texturing. I think that looks pretty good. We'll keep the same body style and then we'll give it a pretty nice tail. The legs are pretty short and stubby. Now let's fix some of the coloring. The ones that I knew had black on their back. And then maybe we shrink down the ears a bit. And then we'll keep the feet this whitish color. Now let's get our boy textured up. What in the world did I just do to this thing? You know what? We're just not gonna texture this one. Well, that isn't right. And somehow I messed it up again. 
Now, honestly, I really don't know what's going on with the texturing. Every time I try to go to the Photoshop, it just made it like invisible. Maybe the Corgi is too powerful to be touched, but I have finally fixed it. Even without the texturing, it's still pretty dang cute. I feel like it was definitely the right call to make the ears smaller. They were huge. Maybe I could have made them a little more pointy because it's kind of a kind of flat. But you know what? That's OK. Let's see what our baby Corgi looks like. Move. Everyone move. Oh, this is just adorable. Stop. Get out of the way. Stop. You're not the spotlight. This is so cute. OK, I have a great idea. We're going to spawn in a bunch of baby Corgis and then I'm going to pour a lava bucket on their head and then we're going to let them all run free. And now we're going to have a whole army of baby Corgis. This will now be known as Corgi Island. They're cute, I don't care. We're gonna start by making it all this green color. And now we have to make this head circular. We'll start us with the slab. And now we'll start layering more of these slabs on. Oh, this is looking so cursed. And now we have built a cursed circle for Minecraft. We have to draw on the face too. Let's make the mouth. And then we'll plop on two eyes. Now our body's basically gonna stay the same. We'll make the legs a bit more chunky. And here is our Roblox creeper. I already know this is gonna break the game. What in the world is this head? Model aside, this head deserves a freaking trophy. Why does them move why do they never move when i spawn them in surely one of these will move i spawn in a million right this just isn't right this just shouldn't be in minecraft i just love making curse things i mean look how smooth the top of the head is just look how they come after me this is so gross they're gonna blow up with a smile on their face what in the world i think i'm gonna have to rate this model a 7 out of 10. now i feel like it's only right that we make steve a roblox character this is gonna be awful let's make apart everything but our head and we're gonna have to build out that same circular shape okay here we are with our cursed circle again i think this is a pretty good start and we can't forget about our face now let's go ahead and work on the body let's add in our first top layer and then we'll throw on the second part we'll add some texturing in and we'll also texture up the top let's throw on our leg and let's build out the shoe we'll texture both of these up and then we'll duplicate it to the other side now we have to make some arms let's build out our first piece and we'll also give it the same texturing now let's build up some fingers and that's a pretty good looking arm we'll add it to the other side as well and our steve came out looking amazing let's find a good place to throw down our steve oh my god God, this is actually so cool. I still can't get over how smooth the top of the head is. I like the fingers on it. It definitely was a good touch. Let's see what a baby Steve looks like. Oh my God, that is so scary. It definitely does look like Roblox. And I'm pretty happy about that. Now I have the perfect plan. Let's put in a bunch of baby Steves and let's give ourselves some tools. Who will win this fight, Minecraft or Roblox? All right, let's let the beast loose. Oh, there's a lot more than I thought I spawned. I had, oh my God, I spawned in so many. I spawned in so many. Oh my God. Oh, there is no way I can win this. I, I did too much. I did way too much. Why did I do this to myself? Jesus, there's no, my shield. No, please, please, no. I'll give the Steve a good 10 out of 10. Now let's go ahead and turn this pillager into the box guy. Apparently his name is Boxbot. Please don't kill me in the comments for that one. Let's start off by taking off this big old nose. We'll also hide the rest of the body. Let's go ahead and color in the head. Let's color out our face. And I'm thinking that's a pretty good looking face. Now let's start making the box shape. We'll do the same to the front and our side piece. Now let's build the ear pieces. There's also this antenna and then we'll duplicate that to the other side. We'll also add this antenna to the top. Now let's go ahead and work on our body. We'll give it that same style, but we'll also add on these buttons. I'll add on our lower section. And of course it needs this chest piece. We'll add some box features to the side and that's a good looking body. Let's add on one of our arms and then we'll give it this nice texturing. We'll give it the same fingers like we gave Steve and then we'll duplicate it to the other side. We'll give our leg the same style and then we'll build out that iconic shoe. We'll duplicate it to the other leg and our box bot looks amazing. This one's for sure going to be interesting. We'll spawn it on this singular piece of grass oh my goodness that is insane what does it look like when it falls ah it looks dead but honestly this came out looking better than i thought it would it definitely looks like the box bot box bot say that 20 times i'll catch your tongue i kind of wish i could take away this crossbow but i don't know how to do that they're all just staring at me like why are they all just staring at me why are they walking towards me i think they want to fight let's see i'll give myself a little bit better stuff this time now i'm sure i can win oh god here we go they're all angry i'm going in i'm going oh god oh oh i can kill this one. Oh my god they have me in a corner what is this let me out let me out let me out let me out this actually isn't that difficult now they're all in the water. I also gave myself kind of OP stuff, so this really isn't fair. That one's just like running away. No survivors allowed. Oh my God, look at my body. I am just all shot up with arrows. I'm sorry, but you have to die. You're the last one. I'll place down this sign as a sign of my victory. While I have an arrow sticking out of my eye. Now let's do probably the most iconic character for Roblox. Let's turn this husk into noob. Let's start with this nice head. We'll make it this nice yellow color. And then we'll build out that same smooth head. And that's a good looking noob face. Let's make that wide blue body. And now let's add on some arms. The arms are just these bulky yellow blocks. And then we'll add it to the other side as well. The legs are nothing too special. And hey, that's how noob looks. Let's put it in the game. I am so hyped to see noob. And why do I still have all these arrows on my body? Let's put our husk somewhere special. I'm thinking that floating island looks pretty 
pretty good. Oh my god. This thing looks amazing. What does a baby noob look like? Oh, that's so cute. I'm sorry. I just punched your dad off the map. Uh, he doesn't seem too happy with me. This probably might be my favorite one yet. They look good. They look good. And they look good. I don't know what to say. They came out pretty good. Let's go ahead and see what we have so far. So far, we have our Creeper, our box bot, Steve, and Noob. Let me know down in the comments which one is your guys' favorite so far. I think this is definitely between Steve and Noob, but also BoxBot has a lot of detail. Creeper, I'm sorry, you're just not that cool. Well, it's time to fight Noob. We destroyed the last one, so let's go ahead and spot a couple more. I think that's a good amount. Oh my God, they're all running at me. I just jump into the action though. I don't even care. I don't even care. Okay, I do have golden apples, so I can be a little bit more strategic. I just have to take out all the baby ones first because they're the most annoying. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far. We've taken out a couple. My goodness, the baby zombies are so fast. Oh, there's a creeper in there. Okay, I gotta let the creeper blow up. Come on, creeper. Yes, that's, there we go. Okay, that took out most of the army. I'm gonna eat my second golden apple. And now we just have to take out all the big ones. Oh, we're almost there. There's only a few left. Last one. Let's go. We beat all the noobs. Now let's go ahead and turn the skeleton into the knight. I honestly don't know the knight's name, so we're just going to call it knight. We'll start off with our head. We'll start off with this red coloring, and then we'll start texturing it up. We'll carve out the front of the face. Let's throw in our jaw plate, and then we'll also add on the top plate. Of course, we'll make the inside of this black. We'll go ahead and pop out the top of our head. We'll give the top of the helmet some detail. Now let's start making the body. We'll give it the same detail as the head, and we'll also add in these gem plates. We'll add one more to the bottom. Let's go ahead and give the arm the same style. We'll also throw in a couple gems, and we can't forget about a shoulder plate. We'll duplicate that to the other side and then let's start building out our leg i think something like this is pretty nice and then we'll add in the other leg and i don't know our knight might be the best one yet if you haven't subscribed to the channel at this point i honestly don't know what you're doing let me know down in the comments which one of these mobs was your favorite so far and also let me know what you want to see next video now let's get back to the mobs now i think this one by far has the most detail so i am beyond hyped to see this in game let's give them their own special island oh my god that is insane wait why why are, it's nighttime why are you on fire why does this always happen man these look so sick i don't know this might have to be the best one yet hey it looks like there's a little smiley face on the back i think this one is definitely an 11 out of 10. this one is by far my favorite i'm sorry noob now let's go ahead and spawn in all our mobs this looks like a pretty good fighting island okay we have our whole island of roblox characters let's give ourselves some nice gear and let's see if i can take out this whole island okay the strategy for this i gotta get by the creepers the creepers will give me the best chance to win since they'll blow everything up oh my gosh there's so much chaos what is going on what in the world is happening oh they destroyed the whole island this is getting sketchy oh wait oh oh god okay okay the creepers just took out everything all i have to do is kill this noob and the skeleton and we should be good to go okay now let's go get the skeleton oh no what i died to the last one that was just pathetic now let's go ahead and turn the zombie into a tuxedo roblox character we'll start off with this green head and then we'll color it in white let's go ahead and draw on a face and then we'll throw on our body let's make the tuxedo section we'll throw a couple black dots on and then we'll draw the little handkerchief section the legs are basically black but we'll give it this gray shoe we'll color in our arm and then we'll do the other side we'll throw our leg back on now let's draw on a bit of hair and i think that looks pretty good let's load them up let's go ahead and see how this turned out yo that actually looks really good besides the fact that you're on fire it definitely does look like that tuxedo guy i wish i had a bit more room for the handkerchief though let's see what a little baby one looks like oh that is adorable come on let's start off by doing r oh sadly there is nothing close to an r inside of minecraft so i feel like a stray is the closest thing let's go ahead and delete our whole body we'll start off with our leg stem and we'll add on the other side we'll make the main body part we'll add on the front piece we'll throw on this eye we'll draw on the mouth and then we'll rotate the r's leg and this looks like the perfect r to me yo that's so cool it definitely is a little curse that has a bow sticking out of it but i do like the vibes of it let me spawn in a whole army of these guys oh please wait oh all the r's are killing each other no what is this we're supposed to be a family i'm like 99% sure this is not how alphabet lore went down. Either way, it still came out looking good. I'm gonna give this R's a solid 7 out of 10 just because the bow looks kind of weird. Now let's go ahead and make A. A. And the LA was the closest thing to A, so let's do this. Let's get rid of our body. We'll add the bottom layer. Let's build on the side pieces. And this is looking pretty good. Let's throw in an eye. Now let's make the big grill in the middle. We'll just add on these black lines. Now we just have to rotate the side pieces. And I think this is a pretty good looking A. Let's see how our letter A turned out. Oh my God, that's so majestic. Wait, stop flying away. I want to look at you. That looks so good. I really love how they just float around all majestically. Like, what are you supposed to do if you run into a group of these A's? I'm going to give the A a solid 10 out of 10. Now we have to make the eye. Eye. 
And I guess it's the iron golem starts with an I. It's perfect for the I letter. Let's start by deleting the body. Let's go with this I shaped body. We'll also draw on this mouth. Let's back on the bottom part of the eye. And of course, the top piece. Let's make out one of these big eyes. And then we'll color in the pupil. And there goes our amazing eye. Let's see how the letter I turned out. These are so freaking adorable. Let's head to a village. We spawn in a bunch of iron golems. And now we're going to put in some zombies. Oh my gosh, the eyes are destroying them. What? The zombies don't even stand a chance. I have never seen zombies get beat up so bad. I don't even think a single eye died. I think that gives the eyes a 10 out of 10. Next up, we have the N. N. And nothing really starts with an N, so I decided to do a panda. Of course, we'll delete the whole body. We'll start with the side pieces, and then we'll add on the middle section. We'll throw in this white mouth for now, and then we'll draw on our eye. Let's give the mouth those stripes, and now let's start shaping this out. And honestly, this is a pretty good end. And the end is pandas, and oh my gosh, those are so cute. Look at the baby pandas. These are so adorable. These actually might be my favorite one yet. The way they look when they just roll around is so adorable. Just because these are so cute, I'm going to go ahead and give them a 10 out of 10. Let's go ahead and do E next. Mm. And for this, I decided to do an evoker. Of course, we'll get rid of the body. Let's start building up the E shape. And this looks like a pretty good base. Let's add in the teeth. And of course, we'll draw the stripes on it. We'll add on our second layer. We'll draw on our eye. And here is our E. Now let's go ahead and see how our E looks. Oh, that is just freaky. I mean, it looks like the letter E for sure, but these are definitely really creepy. Oh my gosh, this one's holding a sign. I think there's only one real way to settle this. Oh my gosh, wait, no, the evoker said Vex is already- Dude, I didn't even get a chance. The E's killed me in like five seconds. Now let's go ahead and do Y. Why? And yes, I know a B doesn't start with Y, but I would love to see it go flying around. Let's go ahead and make the frame to our Y. We'll throw in our Y pieces. Now let's add the eyes in. And then we'll add on the eyelashes. We'll add in our mouth. And there is our awesome Y. Now let's do something a little more cute. Let's see how our Y turned out. Aw, these look so good. Look at the baby bees. Those are so cute. I'm normally terrified of bees, but being around these, I actually feel kind of comfortable. Let's see what a mad bee looks like. Oh, I'm getting swarmed by Ys. Wait, no, no, back up. No, why, no, why, why, why? Now let's go ahead and do the X. X. And I want to make the X into a creeper. We'll break apart our body. Let's build our X body. We'll build on our eyes. And that looks like a pretty decent X. We'll add in our pink bands. We'll throw in our back pieces. And I think our X is perfect. Let's see how the X turned out. You know, honestly, this isn't too bad. It feels a little off and I don't know why, but maybe I'm just freaked out because they're actually creepers. Let's put in a whole bunch of these guys. And then let's light a few of them on fire. Oh my gosh. I think I'll give this one a solid seven out of 10 just because they don't feel right. Oh gosh, all the X's are chasing me. This is not the way I thought I was gonna go out. Now let's go ahead and make F. Yeah. And for F, we're gonna use a piglin. We'll add on our black frame. And that looks like a pretty good F. Let's go ahead and throw on some teeth. And then we'll add on some slanted eyes. And I think F is the best one yet. Now let's see how the letter F turned out. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. I think it's perfect that we made an F a piglin. Just because they can have swords and weapons that do a whole lot of damage. Why do you have a chest plate above your eyes? I think F is definitely gonna be my favorite one so far. Oh my gosh, look at all the F's chasing me. I think F gets a solid 10 out of 10. Now let's go ahead and make L. Oh. And for L, I'm gonna use a gas. Let's start building up the frame. And that looks like a good L. Let's add in our teeth. And then we can throw in our eye. And hey, I think our L turned out super good. Oh my God, that is so cursed. It actually looks really good. You can't look at this thing and say it's definitely not the villain. Just look at its eyes. We're gonna make O. Oh. Bro, we're gonna use the zombie. We'll start by building up the frame. I think this looks pretty good so far. And this looks like a pretty good circle. Let's start drawing on the eye and we'll throw on the pupil. And now we have to round out this O. We'll curve out these edges. And I think this is a pretty good looking O. Let's go ahead and spawn an O. Oh my God. Wait, why are you on fire? It's night out. O actually looks pretty terrifying. I like that we made the circle a little bit more smooth. And the eye on top really isn't that creepy feeling. Let's spawn in a baby O. Oh my gosh, look at all of these O's. This is so terrifying. Of course, we also have to find a bunch of L's with our O's. Look at this dynamic duo. I am so sorry for what happened to you, F. If you're team L and O, comment hashtag L and O in the comments. But if you're team F, comment hashtag F. Now let's do our last four. The first one of these is gonna be S. S. Let's start building on our S-shaped body. And I think this is a pretty good frame. We'll smack on our two eyes. Now let's round this out. And honestly, our S looks really good. Let's go ahead and see how our S turned out. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. We have a singular Enderman eye on top. But the S looks so cool. Let's spawn in a whole army of S's. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. It feels like I'm around a bunch of snakes right now. Let's see what the angry S's look like. 
Oh my gosh, all the S's are chasing me down. This is terrifying, no! Next up, we're gonna make U. U. And for U, we're gonna use a pig. Let's start building out our frame. And this looks like a pretty good U. Let's go ahead and add on one of our eyes and we'll do the other side. And after a little bit of reshaping, I think this looks really good. Let's see how the U turned out. This is actually kind of cute. U looks like a respectable young man. It's kind of weird that they're pigs though. Let's spawn in a bunch of baby O's. Oh, I think we spawned in way too many U's. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I think I'm gonna give you a solid seven out of 10. Now we're gonna do B. B. And for B, we're gonna use a spider. Let's start building on our blue frame and then we'll add on our eye. We'll add on our lower B section and then we'll draw on our mouth. And I think our B looks really good. Lastly, let's see how our boy B turned out. Oh my God. This thing is terrifying. It is so derpy. I really don't like the way B looks. It just feels wrong. And for that reason, I think I'm gonna give it a solid six out of 10. Now, lastly, we're gonna make Z. Z. Let's go ahead and use this fox. Let's start building up the base. And now let's color on that zipper. Now we'll throw on these eyes. And all we have to do now is shape it up. And now our Z is perfect. Let's see how our boy Z turned out. Let's put Z down right here. You know what? That actually looks kind of good. Oh, he's running away. Z, get back here. Let's put on our baby Z. Oh, these are so cute. The Z's might be my favorite so far. If the Z is your favorite, comment hashtag Z in the comments. Just look at this, this is so adorable. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also comment right now, which one of these was your favorite? If this video can pass 5,000 likes, I will be releasing the pack inside of my Discord server. And if you wanna see me remake some more mobs, make sure to click one of the videos on the screen.